Okay, so, hey guys, welcome back to your video. This is Star Gamer, and today I'll show you how to hook a, um, one computer up to two monitors. Okay, so the first step is you're going to need to own two, mo two monitors. So, and one, and what you're going to need is they have to have, so either you have to buy, like, a splitter for the monitors, or they have different outputs, like, like, different inputs, like, pretend, like, for example, this one's VGA and that one's DVI. So what is going on, this one's actually VGA and this one's DVI. And your computer needs to support both of them. My computer only has an HDMI output, but I do have an HDMI and DVI cable. So what you need to do is just plug in your HDMI into DVI cable into your computer. Then power on monitor number one. And there you go. For, so, my computer doesn't have a VGA um, co uh, connection, but I do have this box that allows you to plug like this little, U that allows you to plug this little USB thing into your computer, but it converts it over to VGA, as you can see. So, let's use that. But, one thing I gotta show you real quickly is if you want to um, get this working, you will have to do something in your power plant, it's called. So, you type in edit power plan, as you can see there it is. Then after that, then after that, click choose what closing the lid does. When I close the lid, make it say do nothing. Then you save that and you'll be good to go. So let's so then after that, what that means is that's if you have a laptop you do it. So then you can close your computer and be good to go. So now I'll show you how you so just plug in your second monitor and um, turn it on. And um oh I messed up a second. What I did is uh my computer only a uh, state. My computer will shut off. Will go into sleep mode if it's not plugged in. It wasn't plugged in. So okay, so sorry about that. Uh, what just uh, that weird pause that happened? Uh, my camera's battery died, so I had to uh, put the spare in. But so the way you can tell if this is working is one of your monitors. It's, it sometimes as one of your monitors um, would look like just what your screen would normally show, but the other one looks just like that one, but as you can see, your apps and stuff like all your applications aren't there. Like that. But one thing you might know, and another way you can tell if it's working, is so you see my mouse? Watch this. So it's right here. This is the edge of the monitor. It switches right to the other one. That's because I have this set up correctly. Sometimes when you move it over here, Sometimes uh, your so we're taking out monitor over here. Sometimes you move it up, it goes there. So it will it'll be all like random when you first set up. So what you're gonna have to do is right click display settings. As you can see, you'll see two pictures of your monitors. So hit identify. See this one's monitor one. That one's monitor two. So we got monitor one, monitor two. So as you can see, I have set up monitor ones over here and monitor twos over here. So I recommend setting it up just like how the monitors are in real life, so that it makes sense. So, now I'll show you what's the advantage of having two monitors. So, watch what I can do here. I can open Google. And then after that, I can click on it and drag it over here. Open it up. And I can, like... Like I could watch a YouTube video. Hey guys. So that's what you can kind of do. You can like watch a YouTube video over here. But then, um, then for example, on the other one, you could. If I just gotta drag this over here. I could start up like a game of a. Uh, I could start up a game of Shell Shockers. And this is pretty ridiculous. I'm playing Shell Shockers. 
and watch a YouTube video at the same time. I don't actually know when you would ever need to, when this is practical. So as you can see guys, you can actually do this. In fact, if you really want to be crazy, you can have two YouTube videos playing at the same time. <laughs> but one cool thing you could do is after is pretend you only want to but you're like well it's gonna sound weird with two YouTube videos playing. Well if I click on this video and then I uh, turn the sound off, now there's uh, no sound playing. So I can only so I can see both of the videos playing, but I only hear this one. So now let's show you some other uh, useful thing. Well, some oh no, some other weird things. So first I'm just gonna close out of these. So I'm just going to open up this um, Word document. This was a project that I did in school here. So watch what I can do. So I can click on this and put it in the middle of the two screens. Go. This is kind of an issue about having two screens compared to having like one of these huge screens. Like you know those like really big curved monitors. Well, this is the issue of this compared to like something like that. This is, looks really awkward. But the thing is, if I scroll down. It actually is showing correctly. See, so it's probably impossible to see on the camera, but over here I see a little like it says like S U, and over here it says P E R, which says super. And so it's not like anything's getting cut off. It just looks strange. See if I put it in the middle of a. Uh, oh, I don't know what just happened. See if I put it like oh god, I think I'm messing something up. But yeah, so. That's how you can do all that. Also, let's just show you it's like to shut down the computer. It's just like normal. And oh yeah, one other thing I gotta tell you. When you're in this mode, tablet mode does not work. So if you wanna enter tablet mode, sorry, it doesn't work. That doesn't really matter for me though. But as you can see, shutting down is just like normal. And whichever monitor's monitor one will stay on for a second or two, the other one will instantly shut down. So yeah, that's what it's like to have a so that's um, what it's like to uh, have multiple monitors hooked up to your computer. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.